guys? It is Chris back for Watch Chris. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell icon, and of course, liking this video if you find it useful or helpful. I love bringing you guys new brands. I love talking about watches. I put a lot of effort into this channel, and of course, it is very appreciated when you subscribe and hit that like button. I really do appreciate it, and it helps me continue to do this, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So today we are bringing you a new brand. It's a watch that is very affordable, under $300, actually pretty well under $300. You're getting an automatic movement, double sapphire crystal, so sapphire crystal on the front and back. You're getting a frosted stainless steel dial. It's a regulator, and I have to say it is pretty damn good looking, especially considering the price. They even put a strap on here that I haven't seen on an affordable watch in the past. It's really a very nice package for a very, very good price. They're called Martin Design. Now it may not be the best name, but the name doesn't actually go anywhere on the watch. They have a pretty cool logo. And of course, like I said, you could see the movement from the back and they even did something special with the movement. So let's flip the camera and take a look at a brand that I have never featured here on my channel. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a review for in the past. They are called Martin Design. This is a regulator that comes in at $275. Well, here it is. I have to say, this has a very striking design for a $275 watch. If I didn't tell you the price of this watch, what would you have guessed the price to be on this watch? Tell me down in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys think this would have cost if I hadn't told you the price right off the bat. Now, it does cost $275, and I'm going to go through all of the components of this watch and why I think it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. So you're getting a stainless steel dial. That dial is pretty layered. You have these two sub-dials right here. That's the seconds, that's the hours, and then that hand, that long hand that has that little loop on the end, a counterbalance, that is the minutes. You have another layer of the dial, which is media blasted and it's stainless steel. So it has a really nice fine sand texture to it. Then you also have a minute track. It's called the Supernatural. So that's the name of the watch and it's by Martin Designs. Now they don't put that anywhere on the watch. You just have their logo right there. It doesn't even say that on the back. And then you have it on the crown right here. So really well done. The design here is excellent. Uh, I really love the look of the dial and the overall design of the dial against this strap. This is a calf leather strap that has a distressing that was done to it. Uh, and I can't even describe it. It looks really cool, almost like a black and white pattern. It looks very different like something you would see on a lot more of an expensive watch. Plus you get a milled buckle that is signed again with that Martin Design logo. So pretty damn cool, especially considering again the $275. Sapphire crystal on the front, sapphire crystal on the back where you can see the Miyota movement. So this gets a Miyota movement. That means that that regulator has what I would imagine is a module that they had to place on top of this Miyota movement to get that regulator. So I don't know how they did that or where that module comes from. And they decorated the rotor. So this is a blue rotor. I'm not sure if it's heat blued. I would imagine it's not, but very similar to the hands, which are all blue as well. This gets the 82S7. So that means it does hack and it does hand wind. It is a 40 millimeter watch spot on you have a 5.8 millimeter crown just over 10 millimeters thick so not a very thick watch at all and you get about a 46 and a half millimeter lug span that's what i measured and then 50 meters of water resistance and you're getting a display case back on here uh, the crown is also at an odd position it's between the three and the two o'clock it's a little bit closer to the two o'clock so something to keep in mind. I like the position of the crown. I think it actually looks really cool. Again, something a little bit different 
and getting that in a watch that costs $275 is impressive. You also have pretty impressive finishing for a watch in that price range. You do have brushed sides, but you do have polished edges. You have a polished bezel, a screwed in case back, which is kind of cool. And again, you have that decorated movement. Very good looking watch for the price. This is going to be on Kickstarter. I think the Kickstarter starts in a few days. So that is, I think, March 12th. Uh, I will put a link to the Kickstarter down below. If you are interested in this watch, definitely join the Kickstarter because it's going to be very affordable in the beginning and then probably the price will go up uh, eventually. Very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist. There is no loom because this is technically a dress watch. We will wrap up the video. Today on my wrist, I have a really cool watch. This is a Nomos Ahoy. I believe it's called the Ahoy. Uh, their dive style watch, not really a dive watch, but it's their watch meant for water sports, I guess. Really good looking watch, uh, kind of plain Jane, but at the same time, a little bit funky. I like it. I think it's a really good looking design and overall, I'm pretty much enjoying it. Well, there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. You have to admit this looks a lot more expensive than its price tag. There are a few complaints I guess I could make about the watch. Uh, maybe a slightly larger crown. The crown is in the five and a half to 5.8 millimeter range. If it was a little bit bigger, I think it would look better maybe. Uh, the strap is very bolstered. I don't like a very bolstered strap. So you can see it actually looks thick, the strap. But with all that being said, again, when you're considering the price, I think this looks and feels like a lot more of an expensive watch. Just look at the sub dials. You have a chrome surround that goes around them. The logo is applied. That little word right there that's in Latin, that is screwed into the dial. You have that minute track, which is sort of a chapter ring at the same time. A lot of detail went into it. You have the blued hands. Uh, again, those are probably chemically blued, but that is something that can be forgiven considering, again, the price. Uh, no loom on this watch because, again, it is a dress watch. I think it's very good looking. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, also, they know the name Martin Design, probably not the best name that you've ever heard. So they just keep it off the watch. Doesn't say it anywhere on this watch. They have their logo everywhere, but it does not say Martin Design. And I have to say the logo is pretty cool as well. I think they did a good job with their logo and all that good stuff. But Martin Design, I think a lot of people don't like to have a name on their watch. So uh, they've just kept it completely off. You know, people complain about Christopher Ward and uh, all those like Jack Mason people complain about that. So. There you go. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of this watch for the price? And again, tell me in the comments below, what do you think this watch should cost or could cost if it didn't cost $275 and I didn't tell you the price, what do you think you would have thought the price was? Tell me in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think. Uh, that's really it. Thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.